In this chapter, you will learn how you can record and evaluate variables using the trace function. The trace function is mainly used for localizing faults that occur sporadically. In the past, analyzing errors involved wiring and monitoring each individual device separately. Now the trace function does this task for you in the TIA portal. Simply specify the binary and analog variables of the device that you want to record in the trace configuration. The trace is then transferred to the controller and activated. As soon as the trigger condition is fulfilled, the values are recorded in the controller independently from the TIA portal. The TIA portal offers a whole range of options for evaluating the measurement using curve diagrams or signal tables. The trace is integrated in the device firmware, so no extra hardware is required. And this is how it works in the TIA portal. Open the trace editor and create a new trace configuration. Choose the variables you want to record. Configure the cycle and duration of the recording. Then, if you only want to record signals after a particular event, define the trigger. With the pre-trigger function, you can record events before the trigger condition. Transfer the trace configuration to the device and activate the recording. The controller firmware does the rest. The recorded values are now loaded from the controller and displayed in a curve diagram for analysis. You can find tools for analyzing your curves in the toolbar. With the trace function, the TIA portal gives you a tool for analyzing faults in your plant in a targeted manner. The trace function of the TIA portal is an existing feature in the firmware of the controller and is thus available without separate wiring. It allows you to record your program variables independently of the TIA portal exactly to cycle.